The lady from Uncle. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at Google Workspace Admin Console sign-in issues. This is not about resetting a Google Workspace user's account. So that is this article here. And by the way, I will give you the links to all of these articles in the video description below. So you will have done a search for your Google Workspace Admin Console sign-in issue and you've come across this particular article. And the scenario that I'm going to look at today is very specifically about what you can do when the admin has left you without access to their admin account. So here we are on the first Help Center article. And the first question we're asked is, did you buy Google Workspace from a reseller? The reason you're being asked to consider this is because really, you should be getting support from the person you bought Google Workspace from. One of the common ones obviously is Wix. You could be facing error messages while signing in, but in this particular scenario, as I said, I'm going to use original admin left company and no one has access. And this is an expandable zippy. And you will see the instructions here are to contact the original admin and get them to give you the user, their username and password, in which case you get access and then you can reset it for yourself and Bob's your uncle. But if you cannot contact them, then you're supposed to fill in this Google Admin Console login issues form. And that is this particular form here. Looks a bit daunting, but trust me, it isn't all that bad. There is a, a helpful video here that you can have a look at. And there are also these instructions here. Again, don't forget, I'm going to give you the link below. So have a read through that and fill the form and see it's being mentioned here and fill it in with this information, with the assistance of this and submit it. But there is actually another form and that is the one I'm going to look at today. That's this one here. Now this Google Admin Console sign-in issues form is a slightly simplified version and it gives you access to support. On this form, you're being asked to select your issue. And if we have a look at the options here, I cannot contact the administrator, left the organization, passed away, etc. This is the particular issue that we're going to select. And of course, it's, we're being told to use the updated form, which is the form that we already had a look at. That's this one here. But let's continue with this. Uh, enter the admin account you're having issues with. If you don't know the, um, the admin account, then enter at least the domain, the Google Workspace domain, uh, maybe provide your user account. Either way, it's the domain that's the really important uh, part of it. And then enter an email address that they can contact you on. It would help if you did have access to the one of the Google Workspace user accounts and that you can enter that here because that kind of verifies you as having the right to make this request. And then, of course, you go into the details here. Would you prefer to be contacted by phone? This can be quite helpful, um, but bear in mind that you will be asked to select a two hour slot and that could be a problem if you choose a two hour slot on the day that you encounter the problem. Sometimes it's literally not possible for them to get back to you the very same day. So that's something to consider. There is information on account recovery for support. Have a read through this because this will help you once Google Workspace support get back to you. Hopefully that helps. Thank you for listening and goodbye.